all and welcome back or welcome if you're new to my channel um so i'm going to start in the next couple of months um trying to give out some shout outs uh, yorkshire budget uh, budgets does it and um it just helps everyone to get seen by other budgeters because i don't know about anyone else but whenever i try and look up british budgeting i always end up with lists of american budgeting which is fine, you know, money's money, stuffing is stuffing, but I don't know what a 401k is. And there's a few other things that Americans do that us in Britain do not do. So um, although I have so many different um, currencies that I watch, so I've got Mexican, I've got Spanish. Oh gosh, I've got, oh my God, who have I got? French. I can't even remember who I've got, but I love looking at money and different currencies. Some of them are so bright and just vibrant. So, yeah, I want to point out some different other um, budgeters. Um, I want to try and shout out some that are obviously new. Um, so we're going to start with um, Sam Saving 83. I will leave the link for her channel in the description down below. She's only got four at the moment, so she is only just started to think about three weeks ago but she's really really nice i like her um different categories the way that she's got her set up um you've got the scottish highlander on a budget and um, she's also her channel is um attached to or attached to her etsy shop is mood budget <laughs> i'm getting there i'm getting there and then the final one for today is Oh, there's so many. Hayley with Scottish Mama Budgets. There we go. Everyone is absolutely lovely. And I love looking at the different setups that everyone's got. And um, with different challenges as well. Because I am rubbish with challenges. Like the Penny Challenge lasted, I think, about two months. And I threw it out because I can't remember who it was that said it. But they said that to finish the challenge at £12 a week it would take four years <laughs> and I was like I was only putting in like 35p a, like a month or one pound something a month and when someone broke it down like that for me I was like no 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 we're not doing that one so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with my savings challenges and I'm going to start from the back because I need to change out some of these five pound notes so I have got two four six eight ten hundred and ten hundred and twenty hundred and twenty five hundred and thirty hundred and thirty five hundred and forty pounds so this is partially um Christmas money which I haven't seen all my family still yet so there's still some money coming in I've got 30 pounds in my Christmas card here which I just received this morning um I hope everyone's doing well by the way and had a wonderful Christmas and New Year so far fingers crossed it continues as a good one whoops let's try and stop that from bouncing okay so Father's Day is going to get five so I'm going to take that out and put it in a 10. Mother's Day is also going to get a 5. So I'm going to take that out and put in a 10. My daughter's birthday. Now she's not this young anymore. But she is now coming up 14 this year. But we didn't want to put any up-to-date photos in there because she wanted to keep her privacy which I will obviously what's that word except it's not the word I'm looking for but we'll go with it because otherwise I'll be here all day okay that's my birthday this here is 30 pounds um I got this from the budgeting bear when I got this challenge here 
but basically this is £30 challenge. I'm not going to start it this week. I'll probably start it in the next couple of weeks, but this adds up to £30, as I've already said. <laughs> um, but that's going to go towards my birthday meal. Um, now this one came to £109. I'm going to put in 51 this month. And then the other 59, no, 58, next month. Because my car insurance came out this month. And so I haven't got the full £109 to go in there. Um, this one I'm going to do in a minute. My emergency fund isn't getting anything this month. And my daughter's... Trouble fund is going to get another six for this week, which she is going to be so happy about. And that is in there. So we'll just put a little January. So this I will be doing possibly weekly because she has to earn the money before putting it into her little binder. That's coming along nicely. Oh, no, he doesn't want to go back in. Okay, that one is done for the moment. Okay, so Pets is going to get £40. Groceries I have already spent, so we went as um, to Aldi yesterday, it was like a sudden we need to go out, we need to do something, we need to get out of the house because I'd been doing too many um, college assignments and I just got so frustrated that I needed to get out for five minutes, Oops. Um, so we went to Aldi, we got our groceries, we got a couple of treats, um, so this is already spent. In the next couple of weeks, I will be doing some food preps, uh, maybe um, one or two breakfasts and lunch meals as well that can be made and frozen. Um, but I'm just trying to build up the confidence to do it because even doing my um, cash stuffing once a month, getting the courage to sit down and press the record button i still struggle with it um so that is going to be my challenge for myself this year is to do at least one video every other week on like batch cooking or something disclaimer now i'm not a chef it's just basically what i have learned over the last couple of months or over the last year or so on trying to get my money down because in one of my videos last year I think it was August or September time um, I had spent £400 or £420 on grocery shopping and it was basically like ready meals and food that we didn't really enjoy that much so going to batch cooking I have got my money down to about 50-ish pounds and we've still got loads of food in the freezer. So it's something that um, I do encourage if, you know, you have the time to do some batch cooking, give it a go because you would actually see a very big difference in your um, spending. Um, so, yeah, that one's already done. Mis miscellaneous, I'm not doing this week. Um, dining out. What did I do for dining out? Oh, 15. Because 10, 20, 15. Because with entertainment, I've already spent £20 on line. We're going to go to Colchester Zoo for the day because at the moment, I think it's for January only, it's £10 per person per child. So go check that out. 
Um, that one's not getting anything. This one is getting 10. has now got 10, 15, 20, 25 pounds. Perfect. And then my petrol, I have already spent as well. I did that yesterday on my way to Aldi because I, I had to fill my tank up. So that got 30. Um, house fund isn't getting anything this month. Uh, that's 25 pounds and then go back to this one because in here hide who it's from some family have given me 30 pounds Now where do I want to put that? You know what? Actually, let me find. Okay, I've actually lost my 12-sided dice for this one. So what I want to do is just tick off 10. I've had to actually, I wanted to ask you guys, I've had to start pulling this out and I don't know if... You can see this but on the back here can you see all the little crosses that are on my folder i have used acetone oops surgical spirit um oh god i can't remember what else i've used but i can't get these little crosses off so if anyone has any ideas please let me know because i am absolutely gutted um okay so i'm just going to tick off a 10 because i've lost my 12 sided dice but i want to fill this one up i won't make you suffer me trying to fit that back into there so i'll do that off screen and the last 20 pounds is going to go into here Now, I had so much fun making these, but <laughs> I have a slight problem. I didn't realise how many numbers, like number ones and number twos, I would need. So half my numbers are actually missing the one. So this is actually 18, not number eight. Uh, 20. There we go. Has anyone else lost their 12-sided dices? How easy is it though? I had a very special place for it and that special place, I don't even know where, well, I don't even remember where it is. Oh gosh, where are you going? Ah, uh, it's because I fold them twice. This is the only upsetting thing about a 52-week challenge is when you unstuff it and they're not all nice and crisp and straight so but oh well just think of the money <laughs> um where did you go there we go there we go all sorted all in there i do need a tracker for that though because i don't know how much is in there at the moment um that is it oh you might have noticed i have taken out holiday fund because i have replaced it with that but the 20 pound that was in the holiday fund i've moved it to somewhere else <laughs> well thank you for watching and i will leave those three ladies in the description down below so please go and check them out because some of them are new and some of them aren't um but they have amazing um ideas and uh challenges and setups so you might learn something from them um 
the other thing I was going to talk about, I was going to talk about a giveaway, wasn't I? Um, I, I have decided what I want to do is this scratch and save. I am so impressed with it that I'm going to do a giveaway when I hit 300 subscribers. And it's going to be a scratch and save. So this challenge here. And one of these uh, scratch and save envelopes. So please give a thumbs up. Um, subscribe for your chance to win that when we hit the 300 subs. And um, yeah, I'll get ordering one of these in the next, I think maybe two or three weeks. Um, because I think we're about halfway to... 300 so i will get that ready to go um at the moment what i am doing is i want to scratch off and completely fill every one of these four squares before squ uh, scratching off another one because i want to know exactly how much all of these little squares um squares <laughs> learn my shapes dear oh my gosh circles um, I want to know how much all of this adds up to when it's fully completed. And then what I'll do is, once I've completed this, what I'm going to do is um, pick just like one number, maybe the lowest number or the highest number, complete it, see how much that saves up to. But you can, you've got so many ways that you can play this game, which is why I'm so impressed with this. So obviously, if you don't know, I got this from... Um, budgeting bear i will leave her link in the description uh, the etsy where i got this from in the description so that if um, you wanted it before the giveaway or if you don't you know if you're not able to get this because the giveaway i'm only doing in for england just because of the postage um until i'm used to it i'm not willing to uh, post internationally just yet i've got to get used to um like sending parcels and things like that i need to find out all the ins and outs of it um but yeah that is everything for today thank you for watching and putting up with my rambling because it's actually a longer video than i thought it was going to be so thank you very much and i will see you in the next one bye